Hello and welcome my beautiful Scorpio Minds to a new workout and today we're going to be working all of our thighs. Are you excited? I definitely am. The good thing is that you don't have to use any weights with this workout but you can and I am definitely going to use my little arsenal that I've got there of dumbbells, kettlebells but feel free to use anything you have and use any weight that's comfortable to you or also just some water bottles anything you have and I would say let's get going so this workout is structured in four parts with three exercises so we're gonna do the first one we have three exercises we're gonna do them three times over and then we're gonna come to the second one all right for a little warm-up I'm just gonna run through the first part real quick without weights. So the first exercise is a wide squat. Your feet are wider than your hips and then you just drop it low. And this is gonna work your booty, your front thighs, your back thighs, pretty much everything. And you have, if you have a little bit of weight, then it's also gonna work your core. So dumbbells or kettlebell, really depends on what you want. All right, give me 10 of those. So wide stance, drop your butt, bum low and I come up always squeezing it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Give me one more. Come into the second exercise. So you're just standing here, you can hold on to the wall because we're gonna lift your leg just like that you can have a slight bend in your lower knee or in your standing knee and come up fast have a little pause here and then come down all right do this already with me so this is gonna work also the outside part of your booty and here a little bit of your quad Shake it out, take it to the other side. We're gonna do it more in depth in just a second. All right, give me a couple on the other side, just so you get used to the movement. And again, if you want one, just hold on to something. All right, give me one more, another one. Shake it out. The third exercise is a side lunge. So what we want to do is we just want to step out to the side and lunge. If you have dumbbells, you can have both of your dumbbells here on either side. Push back up and on the other side. If you have a kettlebell, either in front of your chest or down. So it's here and then other side. If you have a bigger space, you can always take the steps like that. But I'm kind of limited here. All right, give me a couple of those. So the movements are not super tricky. You should be able to pick up on them quite fast. So I'm not gonna take a super long time to explain all of them. All right, that was super quick little warm up, and we're gonna be working for one minute. Then we have 10 seconds of rest, which is more of like a reset. Get into the other position, and then um, we'll start working. All right, as I did before, white squat is first. I'm gonna take the super heavy kettlebell. But again, no weight at all is fine or just adapt it to whatever level you're at. Don't you worry. All right, we've got 10 seconds. Grab your weight. White stance. And get working. So I would prefer you do these movements slow but controlled and really feel the squeeze 
in every second, every corner of your thighs and booty and keep stable. So this is not a conditioning class, this is not cardio class, it's just pure strength. <laughs> Dumbbells if you want to use them. And then we'll come into a side lunge. Keep your chest up and push through that heel of your bent leg.
Don't trip. <laughs> 10 seconds. Feel that burn. Three, two, one. Awesome. Grab the weights. Side lunge it is. Keep strong here and push through. You know you can do it. It's only the beginning of this workout. seconds the next part is gonna be all of our quads pretty much so we've got lunges front and back and then bare squats three two one all right you can keep your weight the first one is gonna be back squat 
and then take your knee up. So back squat, knee up, and then switch. So back, and then knee up, switch side. Knee up, stand.
Always push back with your heel. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. All right, one last time. Got the back lunges with the knee up. All right, lunge. You bring that knee to your chest. Switch side. Squeeze that butt when you're standing. Put your beat on my Snapchat while I make up. She want a chance with 
me Cause she know I'm a rapper I give a but I never get feelings Cause shawty I know what you have One. All right, lay down on one side. We're gonna do inner thigh lift. So this is gonna work your inner thigh. And after that, we're gonna do knee touches. So after 30 seconds, we're gonna switch. But first, lift up the inner thigh. You should really feel it on the inside. Push it as high as possible, just with the force. Oh, you're in a die. <laughs> it's a bit hard to explain, but just push it. Alright, in five seconds, we're gonna switch. We're gonna stay like this. Just our upper leg is gonna change. Alright, here we go. So touch your knee to the ground and extend. And touch and extend. This is gonna work your booty and also a little bit of the quad. Everything that's kind of here. And that helps lift up your leg. to the knee touches. So we're working our adductors and our abductors. Pretty much doing the same with those machines at the gym where you're sitting down and you're pushing your knees together on the right side. Do you know them? I actually really like them. All right, three, two, one. Touch your knee, extend it up and touch, extend. Keep the tension. You wanna feel that burn. Five seconds and we'll lie down on our back. Here we go. Toes are together facing the ceiling, and then we'll just open and close. Alright, open and close. Always have that tension. Really try to put them together and have that tension. You kind of want to work against yourself here. So you really have to squeeze and you have to like force it. You can also press against your hands here if you want to make it a bit harder. Change to the other side. 
This is your second round. now that's the reason why it's cool to repeat the exercises a couple times so the first time you're like well that's easy and after the third time it's like okay this is getting a bit harder but yeah it's kind of cool to switch up your exercise so that sometimes you have these kinds of like rep workouts and sometimes it's just like different exercise every time. All right, knee and extend. Same time. 
And this is the last exercise of pod number three. Then we'll move on to the fourth one and it's gonna be the last one. So your last nine minutes. We'll stay on our backs and we'll do diamond kicks. So it's basically the same. Feet are together, diamond shape, and you want to kick out and bring it together. And your inner thighs want to stay together or at the place where they are. I just bring your feet out and bring them in. And again, make it a little bit hard for yourself. Squeezing everything, pushing against the motion. So when you want to bring your feet in, you also kind of want to not bring them in. I hope you get what I mean. Okay, you should really start to feel it in your inner thighs here. Ten seconds left. And you can grab a dumbbell or a weight. Two, one. All right, I'm gonna grab a weight. You don't have to. And now come into a diamond shape on the floor. And then you want to press your hips up. And try to keep your knees as far away from each other as possible. So more into the direction of the floor. Bless you, Kiwi. This is working in glutes. And you can probably also feel it in your inner thigh. And next we'll hit the hamstrings. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, glute bridge up, and then we'll do little walkouts here. In two, one. All right, just want to walk your feet out as far as possible, and then bring them back in little steps. And your hips are gonna stay up the whole tap can slide here as well and then walk back and feel the burn in your lower booty in your hamstrings you can walk it out as you want either like really big steps or sliding the only thing I want you to do is keep your hips up. And feel it in your hamstrings. I mean, it's burning, but that's what we want. Woo! All right, back into the diamond kicks. Sit together. And out. And in. And don't make it easy for yourself. The movement is really slow and controlled.
Five seconds. Whew. Quick little shake, get out. Diamond glute bridge, it is next. And push. Keep the tension. Don't rest when you're down. Just a little touch and up again. Two, one. Whew. All right, glute bridge. Quickly shake it out. And then walk your feet out and in for those hamstrings. Just as far as you can hold it, as far as you're not going to feel any tension or sensation in your lower back. Walk on your heels, it's even gonna be more effective. Diamonds, do a bridge. The feet together. Again, you can use the weight, but you don't have to. Last of this exercise, guys. Walk out in the bridge on your heels. Here we go. And 
because that's the last exercise, there's no way you can cheat because <laughs> you don't need any extra strength for the next exercise because that's it. And I'm sorry, Kiwi's walking around all the time for her little paw noises. <laughs> Swing from left to right. Whew. There's a lot of tension in your thighs now. So just place your feet on top of your mat. Bring one foot across over to your knee. If you already feel sensation here, stay here. Or bring that knee close to you. And you can grab either, either your shin or underneath. And I pull it in, back to the needle. And breathe. Just feel how your muscle, your tendons, your ligaments are just slowly letting go of the pressure, of the work they have to do. And with every breath, more space that's created. Slowly release. Place both feet on your mat. The other foot on the top of that knee. Or bring it into your chest. Grab underneath or grab your shin and hug it in. And same here. Try not to force anything, just let it go. And with every breath out, you're releasing a little bit more of the tension. It was a little bit of everything. It was 
thighs, inner thighs, outer thighs, back thighs, all of the thighs. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it and as always leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know how you did on this workout, if it was easy, if it was hard. And yeah, leave a subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you next time here on my channel. Goodbye guys.